What's up, people? Today, I'm going to show you how to create a simple React component library for the GitHub package registry using Create React App. So as you can see, um, all I've done in this project so far is I have run the command um, Create React App. When it loads up. OK, so I've just run the command Create React App. Um, use NPM, because NPM is faster for me. And then I've set it to TypeScript and called it this folder, which is here right now. And I've just pushed the contents to a GitHub project. Now what we're going to do is we are going to try and create a simple component library and publish it to this registry. So first, let us um, make a new directory. So let's cancel this and make a directory called library. So we don't actually need these two, but we'll keep them here for now. And we'll make a new folder inside library called button. Um, we'll make a new file inside button called index.tsx. And we'll make a file inside button. Um, actually, this needs to be inside the library. And I'll make a new file inside button called button.tsx this morning. Cool. So first, let's create the simple button component. All we're going to do is, as usual, import React from um, React. Uh, and what we're going to do is export default um, function button. And that will take in uh, props, which will be a, an object with just text and that'll be string, lowercase s. Okay, and then what that's going to do is return a button with the text inside it. Cool, that's it. I think that's it. There we go. What we're going to do is export that button. And the reason for doing this is inside the component. We just want to import this TSX, TSX file in our compiled JavaScript component um, to import it into whatever project you want. It will make more sense in the future. So let's export the default um, as button from button, button, like so. Okay. Cool. So we've done this bit. and. This is our component pretty much done. You can add whatever extra you want. It's quite simple at the moment. And now what we're going to do is go on to making it an actual package. So as you can see inside here, the first thing to do is add this to package JSON. So let's copy it, which it says it has been copied, and paste it somewhere here. Cool. So now the next thing to do is to log in to um, the GitHub package registry because we're not using NPM, we're using GitHub's one. So if you put this command in here, it should ask for my username and password. So it has to be lowercase. And the password will be quite difficult to do if you haven't done it already. To get your password, go to settings. This isn't your GitHub password, by the way. Developer settings, um, access tokens, and you have to generate a new token with a name, and that can be called whatever you want, and then all these four things have to be ticked. Okay, and once you generate the token, copy it and save it somewhere private and make sure not to share it with anyone. Um, so I've already done that. So what I'm going to do is paste my token in here, and then I'll ask for the email address. And after all that is done, it will log you in successfully. So now once you're logged in, you can actually go ahead and let me go back to the previous page. You can actually go ahead and publish it, but it's not quite ready yet. There are still a few more things we have to do to enable it to publish. And we just need to make, we'll try and do everything inside here. So to compile our TypeScript React code into JavaScript, we need to install Babel. And we need to install a few things. So it would be um, npm install uh, in the developer section, bubble. 
Babel CLI. Um, some of it's already here, so Babel presets environment as well as the React stuff. Um, I'll put this command inside the description if you can't see it. That'll take a while, so I'll pause the video and get back to it. Okay, so that's all installed now. You can see the three things that I've installed, which are the React preset, the Babel CLI, and the presets env. And there's one thing I forgot to install, which is the um, Babel preset TypeScript compiler. So I'll do that now. I'll, I'll pause again. Actually, I'll stop this video here, and I'll probably continue this on another video, so I'll have a part two. Uh, so yeah, thanks for watching this one. As usual, like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the second part of this one. Bye.